So if you're into juicing like I am or have gotten into again more recently, this is the Black & Decker 400 watt juice extractor. I got it at Walmart for just under 40 bucks, which is a real nice selling point because it was the cheapest one there. And I got this one after using two of the newer upgraded models of the Jack LaLanne juicer, which I was really unsatisfied with. So that's why I got this one. The old Jack LaLanne juicer was awesome, but I listened to Marie Kondo's book on audio, got rid of like half the things I own, ended up getting rid of that juicer, wished I hadn't gotten rid of it. And now they have a different model, so I, I couldn't find the old model. Um, except on eBay as a fallback option. But meanwhile, what I want to show you about this one is how easy it is to disassemble. Um, so you just lift these things up on the side, they go loose, everything pulls off, and then you have the blade in the middle. You just kind of have to get uh, both fingers in there. Yeah. There we go. Got to kind of dig underneath it and pull it out. Uh, but you don't have to screw it in with a tool like you had to with the old Jack LaLanne one, which is kind of nice. And then these two pieces come off. And really easy to put back together too. Super easy to clean out. The thing I like about this, and you'll see it in the juicing video, is it just pulverizes the heck out of stuff. I was a little bit concerned. Um, well, my first, the, and the only thing I don't like about it, let's go there. One thing I don't like about this, but I'm keeping it anyway because of how well it works, is just how tiny the mouthpiece is. So you, you have to cut things up really small. Like if you have a bigger carrot, you have to cut it lengthwise, and I don't really like doing that. The Jack LaLanne one, the mouthpiece is like this big. Um, but the reason I like this one is you don't even have to cut the skin off of ginger or the lemon rinds off of lemons. You just put stuff in there. You just have to cut it up small enough to fit, and it will pulverize everything. You don't, even, you don't have to cut the stems off of apples or the bottom or anything. It does everything you need it to do as long as you cut everything up small enough. So, I highly recommend this one. I'll show you a video of me doing the juice, uh, what kind of juice I make, and I'm gonna make another juice now, I'll show you that one. But anyway, I really like this, really easy to use, and at less than 40 bucks, I would say it is a worthwhile purchase. While I chop the stuff, I always like to keep a trash can right in front of me, so I can just slide stuff right into it, makes it real easy. So there you go. You can see I filled that up almost perfectly to capacity. Good job. It's a Ninja Turtle mug. I just want you to take note of that. And uh, I'm going to take you through the cleanup next. So we'll go over this way. And there you have it. I like it. I think it's a really good juicer. I didn't actually plan on using that one for any period of time because the only way that I could get the old Jack LaLanne model that I like was to order it on eBay and it would have been about another week. But yesterday I felt like I had kind of like a head cold coming on. 
um, like it wanted to come on, but it wasn't fully in effect. And my sinuses were a little inflamed and just kind of like run down. My body was getting a little achy. So I wanted to combat that with juicing. And I thought that would work well, especially adding uh, lemon and ginger and just having a high volume of juice, especially on an empty stomach. So I did that yesterday, made another one today. I also just didn't eat any meat the rest of the day yesterday. And I woke up this morning feeling great, feel really good now. So the juicing worked for the effect that I wanted it to. And the juicer also worked really well. The motor's powerful, the blade is good. So I'm gonna keep this one and use it. I'm not gonna order the old Jack Lane model. And that's it, I like it, I recommend it, it's good. I also recommend juicing, give it a shot. And uh, let me know how you do.